And welcome all you lords and ladies of fate in this stream. We play all manner of tabletop RPGs for your entertainment. This is the only tabletop Twitch stream that allows you to control the destiny of our players. Earn fate chips just by watching and also following, hosting, or subscribing. Spend those fate chips to buy items or heal your favorite players. Hey, also, did you know that if you use your free Prime subscription, you earn more fate chips per minute than the average viewer? <gasps> Gasp! Clutch those pearls. Make them say or and do silly things. Oh, mugs. And mugs. <laughs> even force the party into random encounters. See, even with the cue card. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, we are playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, set in the world of Adenia, a place where diametrically opposed factions of the world vie for all magic in the world. That was not right. You know what? Whatever. Hey, how y'all doing? Boo. Bye. Do it again. Boo. Do it again. Welcome, all you lords and let. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... How are we all doing on this fine Wednesday evening? Yeah. Five out of ten, Atlas says. Yes, Five yes. out of ten. Uh, so the that's trivia generous, question. Okay, that's generous. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the uh, just stop. Um, <laughs> the trivia question today is: Someone in chat, who, who uh, just random person in chat, anyone, if you can tell me the name. Of the wizard who used to own this tower that everybody's uh, running around in. I'll give you some extra fate chips. Is it the Wizard of Oz? It is. You know what? It might be a horse of a different color. Uh, look at that. Atlas has it with Thaddeus Flibbits. That is correct. If someone could Biggest go ahead and... Dickus! <laughs> Biggest Dickus! Stuck in Professor Booby Butts. No, 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 okay, anyway, so let's go on down the line and give, give ourselves a little introduction, so I, we've got uh, Good Devil uh, playing uh, uh, Quentin, our half, uh, half elf warlock, say, say hi, Quentin. Uh, hiya? Uh, hiya, indeed. We have Jesse playing Holly Hera, the half elf druid, uh, say hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We have Nat playing uh, the big, jacked, rippling muscles, sweaty, hairy, grr, the bugbear barbarian. Grr, say, grr. <laughs> we have Tavy. Uh, they're going to be playing Sister Nova, the Asmar uh, paladin extraordinaire. Uh, go ahead and say hello. Hi! There we go. And we will indeed be joined by Jen Washitashi playing Poisonous Gravy Half Orc Sorcerer. Uh, he's actually dropping in the call right now, not in landscape uh, mode like hey. I told him to be in, but hey, what do I know? There we <laughs> go. Look at that. <laughs> he got there eventually. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, uh. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you, you know what's funny is you popped in r as we were doing the introductions right when we got to your part. So, hey, uh, everybody, here's Jen Washitashi playing Poisonous Gray, the half-orc sorcerer. Say hi, Gray. Hi, Gray. That's two. That's two. That's two of my players I'm going to try to actively kill tonight. Uh, oh, that's rude. <laughs> that's cyberbullying. I'm pretty sure that is cyberbullying. <laughs> It is. Don't right. at me. Don't at me. Um, I am asking you right now. <laughs> tell Melania Trump on you. Uh, don't, don't. That's <laughs> um, not the podcast, Jesse. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, do a little recap. Uh, who who wants to? Yeah, let's do let's do a reverse recap. Let's start at the end of the episode and work our way back to the beginning of the episode. Because why not? End of the episode, tea party. Tea party. Yep. Mm -hmm. We had another tea party? Was I there? Uh, uh, yeah. I was wearing uh, my my finest juicy couture, uh, couture uh, uh, sweatpants. You were? Mm -hmm. uh, they were very with, fabulous. Uh, yep. With uh, juicy and... Uh, was it juicy? Or was it just plain meat? Bedazzled on... Oh, I think bag. it was meat. I think you had meat on the butt. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think it was I think, I think it was meat. Been... 
meat on one butt cheek, but like <laughs> juicy on the other. <laughs> juicy on the other. In my opinion, they're both juicy butt cheeks. Fucking Accurate. Uh, thank you, K-Pi. Meat. Oh, yeah. Me on the one cheek, at on the other. Uh, there Anyone we go. Else? Uh, yeah. What else? What else do we need to know? Uh, well, what 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 happened before that? Um, we had fun on the stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had to push all the buttons. Uh huh. I made a water slide out of it. It was pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, did you did very well at parkour. No, no. Every everyone was trying everything in their power to figure out how to open the door. I mean, I did pretty well at parkour. I just couldn't open the door. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. nope. But then, uh, you know, the uh, the the reigning defending, you know, QVP over here, uh, you know, organized everyone to the point where I got that top door to open. Right. So, uh, Quentin definitely figured out the door puzzle, but. Our very own Sister Nova was the one, I think, who pieced together the battle. So you all had a battle. What was what was that all about? Oh, some kill some things with the mirrors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some douche pickle raided my uh, my dresser, uh, and I didn't appreciate that. So, you know, <clears throat> I, I I one shot him back to the shadow realm. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say douche pickle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I just need clarification. That's that's the technical uh, that's yes. the technical term for the part of the douche that the uh, the water comes out of. I don't like what this is. The, the nozzle, the uh, nozzle part. <clears throat> fun uh, fact, fun fact, my mom had one of those in the shower and I didn't know what it was and I used to use it as a microphone. That's not fun. This is that's very fun. I think that's very very fun for me. That's that's a lot of fun. That's that's it. Somebody gives mom in here. We need to talk to her. That's sadly <laughs> upsetting at best. Yeah, right. I know. <laughs> I just like I like to share. I like to share. I'm good. I'm good with it. You yeah, like to share would, your mom's douche? No, I like to share bits and pieces of my childhood. <laughs> okay, whatever helps you sleep at night. Um, <laughs> I don't sleep ever. Mm. <laughs> um, I've never seen you sleep. No. <laughs> um. So, um. Uh. Does does, uh, does, uh, does anyone remember? Uh, yeah, does <laughs> Does anyone remember exactly what uh, what vision they saw in the mirror? Oh, I do. Oh yeah. Go go on. Go on. Tell tell us uh, what you saw in the mirror. Um. Okay. So I saw. Um. Sister Nova. Sister Nova saw a parallel version of herself running out of like a big manor house with a bunch of stolen goods, with like very short hair and wearing like all brown and stuff, and just running in the dead of night away from this beautiful manor, like obviously having stolen something. So first yeah, she right. starts stealing from hungry people, and now a I will homeless fucking shelter. murder you. <laughs> <laughs> it was one time. <laughs> Were you finesse that smooth boy's oh, brain? Takes. Smooth brain, small boy's smooth brain. What am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Take a breath. Try again. Uh, no, <laughs> let's let's go down the let's go down the line. Um, uh, Quentin, what was uh, what was in your um? Uh, what was in your mirror? Well, for going down the line, then. Uh, yeah, well, well, you know, well, well, well Tav Tavy started, but now I'm going back to the top of the order, and we're gonna work our way down. <laughs> oh well, fine. Uh, they they yeah. they volunteered. They raised their hand. They're like, I, I, me, me, and I, oh, I said, okay, sorry. no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. I am the DM. If I say it's your turn, it's your turn. Okay. Now, Quentin. You <laughs> mean it was me that like definitely went to the gym a little bit more, uh, through a hell of a mean left hook, um, but yeah, you know, gave him the old, the old. He thought he had a one two, I had a one two, and then just just like nothing, nothing foolish, stupid, oh, but then we, stupid. We fought ourselves. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's all Sorry, coming back guys. to you. That's why we do Sorry, these recaps. Uh, Holly Harrow, what was in your mirror? Um, I saw myself leaving my parents' house covered in blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blood. 
We love mm -hmm. a murderous icon. Yep. Uh, you you think on that during this play session. You 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 think on that. Uh, I've been thinking about it since it since it happened. Oh. <laughs> Traumatizing. <laughs> Gur, after you were done looking at those wonderful pectorals uh, in the mirror, what did you say? Uh, is what it looks like when I go home. Yes, yes, Gur, Gur saw uh, the adoring fans of bugbears surrounding him, hoisting him up onto their shoulders, cheering hip hip hooray or whatever that is in in bugbear i'm not exactly sure how you say hip hip hooray i don't even think there's a word for hooray in goblin they're they're very uh dark people you know it's sad that when we all like saw the worst versions of ourselves and Gur saw a world about racism <laughs> <laughs> oh buddy that's true, uh -oh. that's true. That's and so uh, does the now now that the memories are starting to come back to 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 Gray, do, do, does Gray remember what he saw in the mirror? I have no idea. Well, <laughs> Atlas if I had to take a swing at it. Maybe you were sober. Uh, uh, well, you know what? You know what? My doppelganger was sober. Luckily, yeah, actually he was. I, um, luckily, oh. Atlas is in the chat to help you today. She's saying, "Thanks, Mama." Gray saw a young version of himself. Not locked up. Not locked up. Having, oh, having, oh, having, having bad. servants come to his room and bring him grapes on plates and other people to feed him the grapes and things like that. Yeah, I was like a little Caesar. Of course, I was sober. Not to be confused with the pizza. Pizza, pizza. Mm -hmm. no. Caesar so was sober ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> The no. Romans invented wine. You think that bitch was sober? No. <laughs> These are the people who uh, 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 invented. Uh, uh, I was about to say Bacchus, but that's Greek, isn't it? Oh wait, no, Bacchus is Roman. Roman. Dionysus, Dionysus. That's what it was. Greek. See, that's my problem. I know a lot about ancient mythology, but unfortunately, I confuse Greek and Roman a lot because it's the same fucking thing. They just have different names. It's so frustrating. I mean, some of them are different. Like, Artemis is different. And, okay, so Minerva and Athena are completely different. But they are often told that they're the same. And That's got to piss them off a lot. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, guys, 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 I have an idea for uh, another game night. What about an RPG that's Greek mythology based? <gasps> oh my god, Percy Jackson! <gasps> can, can we do a Percy Jackson? <laughs> can, 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 okay, I, I can't DM a Percy Jackson campaign, but can someone DM a Percy <laughs> Jackson campaign? Please, I'm begging. I am begging. <laughs> We'll table that discussion and we'll get back to it at a later date. Now, yes, we TM, pick. TM, TM. I am, I am God. <laughs> we pick back up <clears throat> at the tail end of our tea party. So, yeah, you all are sitting here around the 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 table that has magically appeared for the tea party, and you've all had your fill of some some tea and huh. and. Whatever Trumpet. finger foods that you uh, you you wish to gorge yourselves on. A scone. Sure, yeah, there's scones. Pe a peach scone. Absolutely, blueberry. peach blueberry. blueberry. Absolutely, well, whatever the heart wants. Do you guys a, a pear any, one? I any... want some pears. You're not getting a pear. Are there any um cocktail weenies? Pigs in a blanket. Ooh. On. On behalf of all of America, I would like to apologize for that last comment. Um, what is a wiener? Isn't that like little, a little, 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 little tiny Vienna sausage? <laughs> That's I, a penis. I, say, <clears throat> I mean, that, it, that can be a penis. Um, just... Not all penises are the same. Can I just real quick? Um, we're all special and unique <laughs> and all the snowflake race. Can I, have, I, can I ask a question? Did I make a bad comment? Was it in chat? What happened? No, <laughs> no, it was it was the it was the 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 cocktail weenies at the tea party. Um, That's bad. What? That yes, I I personally, if I were inviting you all to a tea party at my house, there would be no weenies on the table. 
Um, some people like cocktail weed. Well, I'm not coming. <laughs> well, some some little smoky. Uh, a little <laughs> cocktail sausage. Yes, a little smoky. <laughs> and you wrap it in um, croissant, and then you, you put the piggy in a blanket. <laughs> Can you please say croissant wait, like that again? Wait, do you croissant? Do you, what <laughs> you you wrap a sausage in a croissant yeah we've been here we've different. been here for a little over 15 minutes and i have already lost control that's, this does not bode well for me of french cuisine why would you why would you wrap a this sausage in Fuck yeah oh my god well this Delicious. is the country that makes corn dogs what the fuck is a corn dog? This is the country that that, that batters and deep fries <laughs> sticks of butter at county fairs all across this wonderful hey. Wait, but country. Why would you need to put butter, which is already like a fat, in more fat? Because America. Like fat. No, but that's not a but great yeah. reason. Yeah. What's like the actual? <laughs> because the only we reason can. We need over here. Okay? You're preaching to the choir. I find it bizarre as hell. <laughs> And let me let me just let me just say that I would never ever eat deep fried butter, but I support it because Fuck out of here. America. I would. I, I mean, I, would eat it I sure. understand. Never, like, I've never had the chance. The option to it. choose. Everyone should have the right to choose, but it's like I personally don't understand hold on, hold on, that on, culture. On. I'm not hold familiar on. with that culture. Consider or yourself that. lucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting you off like a crazy person, but are you? Are you somehow saying that French cuisine? Oh, French oh, oh, hold, 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 is, hold that thought. Is less hold, hold. Than American cuisine. Hold, hold that, that thought. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Pachi Gaming, rating with a party of five. Thank you for that raid. How's it going? Hey, everybody, spam, spam some hearts, some raid emotes. Throw, throw, throw a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for swinging in. We, uh, we're playing the game. Thank you so yeah, much yeah, for uh, hopefully getting us back on track and not talking no, but, about okay, French no, cuisine. No, no, because like I'm annoyed about it. Josh, are you saying that <laughs> American cuisine is better than French cuisine? No, no, no. no we no, were no, almost no, there. No, no. You made a gross no. comparison about fat content. But Italian and French cuisine has a much, much higher fat content overall. Yeah, but it's continental. Continental no, but... is like ooh, my potatoes. And stuff. Fat's not. A, fat's not the 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 bad thing that the sugar industry has lobbied to tell you it is. Yeah. I'm not, like, saying, fat. I'm not saying fat's bad. I'm saying, I love fat. I think fat's fat great. Uh, no, but it's like... All right, let's get back. All right, so yeah, you're, at the tea, <laughs> you're at the tea party that absolutely does not have any cocktail weenies on the table <laughs> at all. Uh, traditional finger sandwiches, scones, biscuits... Uh, biscuits in the in the uh, um, the English sense, not biscuits in the American sense. Um, Thank God, because I would need so much tea. Like, yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, and there you all sit, as you all start to feel the foreboding of some evil presence starting to gain more and more power as you sit here arguing amongst yourselves about cuisine. I stare you at Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not like sense you do not are. sense this feeling emanating from Quentin. You feel it emanating from the stairs. Okay. <laughs> it is coming from above you. I see. Quick, we should head upstairs. I hear there are cocktail weenies up there. No, we should not head upstairs. Foreboding evil, cocktail weenies. Let's uh. go. And in no circumstances should we go towards the cocktail weenies. Huzzah! I lead the chode party up the stairs towards the wieners. <laughs> uh, 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 so, hey, Raiders, just make sure if you like this content, make sure you go ahead and hit that follow button. Uh, we talk about more than just uh, cocktail weenies and uh, uh, yeah, other lying other lying stuff. Lying you lied. Sometimes, lie. sometimes we actually play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for your support. Greatly appreciated. You're DM salty about us about the players getting off track without telling us you're a DM salty about the players getting off track. You know what? You know what's salty? All right, listen. I swear to God, I will murder you. I I will find enough money to get a plane. I'll fly to America and I will find you. 
<laughs> you're more than welcome to kill me as long as you take my remains back with you. Like, can I just not be here anymore? Dead or like, alive would be great. Like, <clears throat> I buy a gun for the first time. I'm sorry. No, I, should, I shouldn't. I shouldn't press it to Betty. Beat me with something English. Kill me with something English. All right, let's oh, see. Knife crime. I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna leave. Gray, 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 Gray senses the uh, the evil foreboding feeling, and yeah, says, I'm sorry. And says, <clears throat> "You guys feel that? I think we need to make our way upstairs. Okay. Whatever, whatever is." Taking that town from us and all the people and whatever time magic I think is happening is coming from upstairs. We've already fought countless enemies and I think we need to Your potato's done. Sorry, I had to. Um (laughs) (laughs) So uh what does everybody want to do? Let's go upstairs. Triumphant. Uh, what if we climbed out the window and climbed up the side of the building, right? I, what if we just... Didn't, we, didn't, didn't you already determine uh, the distance between that window and the one above was too far? Since when were we not a group of triers? If we see something that's just bullshit enough to try, since when have we not attempted? At the same yeah. time, sister... Give my javelins. A, only one of us has a pair of wings... And I don't B, have a pair there's of wings. A, that's, there's an open door. I can't it, fly. It, 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 it. <clears throat> I'm going to sarcastically finish my last sip of tea and place the cup dramatically on the table and uh, turn my back to sister and start marching up the stairs. I've made my decision. I guess we're going up the stairs and not jumping out the window. <laughs> I'm on my way up the stairs as well. <laughs> Yep. I don't I know why. I'm last look at my my footy pajamas and and start heading up the stairs. I pack up the tea party. Do you remember what you need to do to pack up the tea party? I offer people the fruit cake. The fruit cake. Mhm. Mhm. And everyone obviously says no because it only is appealing to you. <laughs> See, okay, here's the thing, <laughs> Hazel. I really like banana bread. Right, and I don't know if that counts as fruit cake because it is technically a fruit cake. No, no, no. fruit cake's a very specific, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. disgusting. Not just a, a cake with break fruit in it. of whatever the fuck it is. Agreed. So, sometimes I blue- I put blueberries in my banana bread, and I don't that's know if that that's that's bread. fine. That's fu- that that's fine. That's it's still perfect. banana bread. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Some, sometimes I put cocktail wings in my fruit cakes. Or, I swear. Did, did we all what? did we all skip dinner or something? What is going on here? Why are we all fixated on I food? Guys, did, I, eat I before we stream. How many times do my, I have to tell you? My yeah. dinner is a handful of goldfish. <laughs> what if these poor goldfish uh, champions? Vodka and beer. Oh my god! I just remembered something. Am I still carrying that sack of fish around? Ooh. Oh shit! I hope so. <laughs> that would explain. Ah, uh, that that's on you. Uh, you tell me. I I think I would be. I think Sister Nova is like on top of it, but I'm just kind of like imagining her going through the towel of like just this big sack. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sniffler keeps popping into your sack, like in your back your back sack or whatever, like as you have over your over your um. <laughs> of your shoulder and coming back out like licking his lips and I was like what the fuck's he doing so, worst like, case it's it, just it's becoming really good fertilizer for the the, the potted plant that you have in there oh yeah <coughs> mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. no like the potted plant is in my messenger bag whereas I imagine like this to be like a Santa sack of fish just, just like slung over the shoulder mm-hmm. yeah <clears throat> alright so I assume everybody else is kind of following suit Yes. No, following Gray. <laughs> Got you there. All right. Well, this comedian. <laughs> you all start to uh, make your way the up the stairs. Best girls got. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. You guys make make your way around the stairs, and uh, much like the last time you guys went up the stairs, you're you know circling around the outer perimeter of the uh, the tower, and it feels like it feels like it's just. Going longer yeah. than it should, naturally. It's almost like that uh, staircase from Super Mario Brothers 64. 
Uh, just to, you know, throw that out there. Um, um, the, the, the farther up the stairway you get, the, um, tighter the air feels. I've just, it starts to get a little harder to breathe. Not like to a point where it would make it impossible or, you know, penalize you in any sort sort of way. Just it's 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 very uncomfortable the further up the stairs you go. Hey, LeBrundle Fly, welcome to the stream. Hi, Bron Bron. Perfect Hi. timing. We're actually playing now. Uh so <laughs> What it's is like what is the uh, the order in which you all are going up the stairs? So that way I can. I technically followed behind Sister Nova. If we're going from where our tokens were on the map when I moved. Okay. Uh, I am standing next to Quinton. So I feel like the order would be. Nova and Quinton, then Holly Harrow, then whoever went after Holly Harrow. If I'm not mistaken, Gray was the first one up the stairs. Yeah, I, I bolted. I yep. bolted. So, oh, okay. Yep, so we've got so Gray. It's Gray, then Nova and Quinton, and then Holly Harrow, and then Gurr. Okay, I was only half paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got Gray out there. What was after Gray? Um, okay, so it was Gray. And then t- next to each other are Quentin and Sister Nova. And then behind them, next to each other, are Holly Hara and Gur. Got it. So kind of like a triangle formation with a Gray at the forefront. I... Like a little house, I guess. I got to remember that you... Yep, there we go. We got to let you have access to this. I've got the Winx theme song stuck in my head. Winx? Winx. Oh, Winx. I don't know what that means. I I don't know what that is either. Oh, it's a... Magical flowers... Digital powers, rhythms, and tunes. The sun and the moon, shifting tides and the fire. I don't think that exists over here. Deep inside, mm. it's an American cartoon. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. We've got Is that what the they tell you? And we've got the plan. <laughs> Look all you want, but don't touch the hair. We are the Winks. We are the Winks. Come join the club. We are the Winks. It's um. What is that? Oh, so Might Atlas. Atlas is one hundred percent on board with you here. Um, I uh, can't yeah. Fly. So so somebody knows what we're talking. What you're talking about? I don't. Um, I don't know the song, but I'm aware of the show. Winks Club is the shit. <laughs> All right. That being said, uh, it's a good thing that we got that nice little heartwarming, fun little yeah stuff because now it's time to die. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's get some appropriate oh God, that... music for us here. It is a good day to die. Oh wait, that's the wrong stream. Do you all want Titan <laughs> fight or epic battle? Uh, Titan fight, Titan fight, Titan or fight. Or both of them fight. at the same wait. time. No, don't do both at the same time. Please do not do that. It's really cool when you're gaming with your friends, panic attacks. It's like really fun. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, we'll do that one. I mean, you know, Titans, Greek mythology, uh, Percy Jackson, it's all close. It's related, right? Yeah. <laughs> If it becomes too loud for anybody, just let me know. That's fully got a conspiracy board. I'm in Skype only. I'm not going to hear it. Pepe Sylvia. Pepe Sylvia. Um. Brita Bruski. It's a cow It's a cow Which is my favorite thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I don't know if I've told you that, but that's... I like the music down the bit. She's really pretty. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, she might be good? my new god. She might be my new god. She's very pretty. A little bit more. 
Oh my god. What? Almond, why is she so pretty? There we go. <laughs> ask, ask Wizards of the Coast. Just <laughs> send them an email. I don't know. Um, oh, our baddie. As you, are you sure? As you, as you walk up the stairs, Gray, you're the first person to see this. Uh, you, you, you walk in and you see. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so the entire audience can see the whole uh, thing we've got going on here. So you see. Um, this bright, blinding, almost ball of light in the center of the room, and these four braziers lit with flame. Um, and uh, at the far end of the circular room, you notice a um a woman who you recognize from the spectral visions from the town as your mother and she is seems to be being bound by this dark energy and it looks like she's in pain almost and you can you can hear her kind of struggling uh, uh, who who's who's there have you come to finish me please make it stop i can't control it please Um, guys, I think, mom, I, this is like fucking um, the MB goes to, listen, so I'm so sorry. I, I can't see you. Who's there? Uh, help. B- be careful. Is it's not like a, safe. Sorry. Is this like a magical effect that she's under? Is she like... Can I see what's like? Can I do like a check to see what's happening to her, or if I um, have sure seen you could do like a um uh arcana check. Yeah, to see if I recognize any of what's happening to her from something I've read. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, um, you you know this as a um as a basic. Or not basic, a more advanced uh, 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 binding spell. Uh, this this spell is designed to kind of keep people in place. The basic versions of this spell. Uh, the more complex versions of this spell can do all kinds of things, like drain people's life energy or their magical energy, um, or uh, slowly uh, uh, take control over their minds. Um, so this seems to be more along the lines of a more advanced version of, uh, of this type of spell. Do I know how to dispel it? Uh, you know that if it is one of the more powerful versions of the spell, uh, the only real way to end it is to, um, uh, end whatever or whoever, uh, uh created the spell. Uh, it's very, very powerful, very old magic. That seems to be the theme of a lot of the stuff that you've been noticing in this tower as you've been going through. That a lot of this magic is stuff that is very old and has only really been theorized at. Not There's n- not a lot of... Um, because this, this stuff is so old, uh, no one in modern times has really ever seen anybody use this kind of magic. Um, so yeah, there, that's that, um, I said the brazers, the blinding light in the middle. Perfect. Um, so yeah, that's where we are at. Um, what would you all like to do besides hang around the outside of the staircase? So, uh, so I, I see, uh, Gracie's his mom. He hear, he hears her warning. Um, he does not heed it. I mean, just starts to emotionally just imagine, um, like imagine the the first time your mom left you at school and uh, you were terrified that she was leaving. So you started like a child inside of uh, inside of Gray took over and he just starts running and he's not screaming, "Mommy!" It's more of like a, a "I want to rescue mom." 
So. Uh, yeah, I, I remember that. I remember my mom dropping me off at school, me turning around and going, Mom, you forgot my shower microphone. All the kids are going to laugh at me now. <laughs> I... Yeah, like, Isn't that that lady that had all those gross things coming out of her in those visions? I think Sister Nova kind of turns to Grey and is like... I'm, ru- I'm running, by the way. Like okay, right. okay, I try and stop, I try and stop Grey, I try and, I try and stop Grey, because, like, this is very delicate magic, and if something, anything goes wrong, it could blow up in someone's face, mm-hmm. right? Because, mm-hmm. like, this is very delicate ancient magic, and Grey is a magical time bomb. Yeah, pretty, pretty <laughs> much. Um, go ahead and make a, um, hmm. I will let you choose between athletics or acrobatics, whichever one's better for you to see if you can either like jump in the way of him or reach out and try to grab him. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he starts to, to make that beeline towards the center of the room and you're able to just kind of like jump out right in front of him and kind of like, and kind of stop him and try to talk some sense into him. We need to be careful right now. We Are found you your anything? mother. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. what? I'm sorry. We, I'm sorry. It's okay. We found your mother, but like this room is very sensitive to magic. And it's there is a lot of like forces that we don't fully understand happening here. And if anything else were to be added into the mix, there's no telling what could happen. But what do we, we got to get her out of this. Like, she's oh, yeah. in pain. Like, is oh, this real? I don't know if this is even the, real. The, like, okay, okay. This is real. This is real. Gray, this is real. And there is a way out of this. Gray, sh- gray, gray, for once in your fucking life, listen to me. Okay. There is a way out of this, and if you want your mother out of this, we've got to go and find the person that can find her here, because this is ancient magic, and it can only be broken if the person who cast the spell is dead. Right? And as you say that, as soon as you say that, you hear a voice coming out from the ether saying, and how would you manage to kill something that you can't see? <laughs> and you all recognize this face as none other than, go ahead, everybody say it at the same time. Hugh Yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Are we gonna get Edda back? Don't answer that. Okay, ready? Are we gonna get Edda back? Oh, that's so funny that you would think of your lost compatriot, but let me tell you something. She's far better off than with the likes of you, seeing as your story will end today. Ha 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 ha! Sir Demir said. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we don't know each other very well. However. Is there a way you can just release um, my friend's mother and we can just... This doesn't have to be a big deal. Absolutely, actually. It's funny that you should ask that. Please remember to be careful what you wish for. And she just poofs out of the room and he goes... (laughs) And he goes, now that I have you here, please enjoy... Because I have something for you. <laughs> and uh, the magical barrier that was there um, uh, dissipates as well as it no longer needs to be there. And uh, standing in its place. Yeah, uh, pay, don't pay attention to the black box at the bottom of the screen, guys. Stands a spectral entity. Oh, shit. I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> does anybody... Hey, guys. Uh, I know my mom just pooped out of the room, and I'm real sad and stuff, but does anybody else get, like, a real rumple still skin vibe out of this guy? <laughs> well, that is me. 
and uh, you well, hear you you hear huge ass uh, uh, say one uh, par- some parting words uh, to you as uh, as this spectral entity poofs into existence. He goes, "Now I'm finally done with this tower, and you all as well. <laughs> now, please have fun." And that, what did I ever do to you? Okay, because like, so I. I, you you must know, you must know that I'm a paladin of knowledge, right? But I don't understand what your motives are. I don't understand I any gone. of this, right? Oh. Guys, <laughs> Is he fucking gone? He's That's gone. Rude. He's That's rude. That's rude. How dare... De- I was speaking to him. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of shit. Okay? That's he's a terrible, rude. terrible little I goblin human. Like- you do, I, I you do it's, look down, Sister Nova. You, you, you do look down at your feet, and there is a little cocktail weenie with a little toothpick sticking out of it. I stomp on it. <laughs> 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 stomp it angrily. Yeah. No <laughs> food. Wait, was that for you, Jess? Did you just give me the cocktail weenie of my drinks? Um, so, so I am going to fly out of here before the lava gets me. I am going to allow everybody. If you would like to make one like prepper like one action in preparation of this battle, I am going to I am going to say that you all hearing the uh, machinations of this uh, vile character, you knew something was about to happen, and if you wish to take that time to. Uh, cast false life on yourself or uh, mage armor or something like that. Um, now is the time to do so because here comes the fun. I would so like we're to not a scuff. hidden from the enemy. Um, sure, yeah. If you want to go ahead and like... Um, the one you were just communicating with? Uh, well, th- th- he's gone, remember? Oh, 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 okay, yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to... That wasn't salt or shade. I apologize. There you go. So you, you're 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 hiding behind the 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 ball of light. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna back. need everybody oh, this, to roll. This isn't like an es- we're not escaping, right? Oh. Uh, you can't. You 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 you, that an- that you, you can't escape you because what? as as you even have the thought of escaping, uh, the stairs start to kind of come up and form like a flat part of the floor. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. Let's not jump out the window. This <laughs> didn't go wrong. <laughs> I, uh, I rolled a dirty 20 for initiative. Dirty 20 for initiative. That's fine. Um, uh, uh, Gray, you don't mind if I go ahead and roll your uh, initiative for you, right? Not at all a big deal. You got a four. A whopping four. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you have... Uh, what I, I was saying is not at all. Don't do it. I can't. You can't do that for me. Don't do my rolls. Do you have initiative bonus? Let's see. You do. You got a five. Can I save that bonus for something else? (laughs) I'm sure your five does nothing for me. Okay, so we've got... Grrr. I think Holly Hara needs to uh, have something to do. (laughs) Well, uh, she she rolled her her initiative. Oh, she did. That's good. Quentin. I'm half here. He's purring and putting me to sleep. I can tell. You have like a massage kitty. Yeah, but like every time I talk, he shifts. I don't want him to leave, so I'm not going to talk. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. <laughs> it's not very gamer, but it's very cute. Holly yeah. and Gray. Hi, so Space emotionally. Man. Thank you for the love. Hey, Spaceman. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking my cat. Oh, we stand space, man. Uh, okay. I have chopsticks. Come snuggle on me. All right. Hey, guess what? It's another gimmick fight. All right. Uh, first two act is going to be Gurr with that massive 21 and ish. Yeah. It's another gimmick fight? Oh, man. What? What? Who said that? My cat? So first, I'm going to rage. Okay. So uh, we'll mark that off. Oh, uh, I'm on the managing my sheet. There, there made genre on that. That's what I did. I figured as much. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> and then uh, I guess I'm just going to charge. Let's see. I can... Uh, what am I moving again? Uh, didn't you get more movement Speed when you leveled? 40. Yep, you got... Yeah, I was yeah, say. I was... So what's that mean? I can go 40 feet? Is that... Correct. And each, each square is five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, perfect. With my long limbs. And then I will proceed to uh, do Gur smashing with my maul. And what did I get? Oh my Ooh. goodness. <laughs> he crit. Yeah. And I get I get an extra attack too, so. Yeah, well, well let's let's deal with the crit here first. Okay. Um this the second this the, you were so excited for critting on the first, you did whiffed on the second. Um so yeah, uh, barbarian, you don't get anything special when you crit. That's uh, I think it's that's later. A or fruit. Yeah. Um. I don't believe there's anything. Ruthoruski, my dude. Why did Gen Z talk cooler than we do? They don't. They fucking do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> They super do. Like, we say cool shit like, that's fucking rad, bro. But, like, they say shit like, it's kind of Oh, well, come on. Bro. We've got things like um, G. Willikers and Whoopsie Daisy. It's a fucking G. That's G. boomer <laughs> speak, Moharad. What are you talking about? <laughs> How could you do that to us? How could you give us those uh, No, that must, be, that must be later on in your, um, in your arsenal yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't see anything on there. Um... So go ahead and roll. Uh, what is it? Two d six plus four. Well, no, you you don't add the two d six again. An, an extra two d six. Two d six. Mhm. Mm uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so that's fourteen, eighteen, one. Damage. Hey Matt, what's your what's your painting there? something it's a seashell bludgeoning oh. bludgeoning okie dokie so um you swing down with your maul really really hard and it comes into the uh spectral entity's head and you feel your maul start to pass through the spectral en ent entity and you pull it all the way through its body but you don't feel any kind of solid contact and it just kind of like does this this isn't as satisfying thing. as usual. No, no, it will not be that satisfying. Uh, let's see, let's see. Does it actually in, in, like inflict damage? Or? Uh, it inflicted some damage. Let's see. He rolled uh, 21, 21 points of damage. So um, maybe that much. <laughs> Ain't I a stinker? Um, yeah, for sure. I was literally thinking that. That's weird. <laughs> Uh, as you hit, what you notice is the, um, um, who has the highest active perception? What's everybody's active perception or um, passive perception? I'm sorry. Passive. 15. Don't worry, Gray. I'm looking for um, yours now. I know. I trust you. 11. Where do I find that on my sheet? Uh, it's going to be like below your um, your uh, ability scores. It should say like passive wisdom uh, in parentheses. 16. Um, oh, 10. oh yeah, 17. Oh. Um, so Holly Hera, um, Sister Nova, and Quentin all notice that... Um, as the mall made contact with um, uh, the 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 entity, the orb in the center of the um, room started to kind of glow and pulsate. Mm. 
I mean, I should hope I would know, because I'm right fucking next to her. <laughs> <laughs> and... 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 Oh, wait, there's more. A little fucking yeah, shadow beast up. pops out of it. Oh, great. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. Um... And the uh, shadow beast is actually going to come over here. He, whoa, 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 whoa. I grabbed the map in OBS thinking that I could move the thing there. He's going to move over here. A <coughs> coffee. Oh, you need some coffee. Ooh, that's gonna be a swing and a miss. So um, this shadow beast goes to try to um, to, to to grab at you, uh, Quentin, and uh, its hands and arms kind of uh, disapparate as it touches you, and it just kind of goes through you, uh, affecting you not at all. Now this entity down here is going to take a step up here. And write this down right here. Shadow. Okay, and let's see what this little bad boy's gonna do here. I uh seventeen. Does a seventeen hit Gur? Well, uh, he's raging though. I, I don't think the rage actually uh, helps his uh, his AC. Armor does not. I have a fifteen armor class. Okay, fifteen yeah, armor sure. class. So seventeen hits. Um, How does he have a fifteen armor class if mine is almost fifteen? My, if mine's fifteen when I put major armor on. You don't know me. Know. Well, <laughs> that's because your magic is just as strong as his muscles. Get the mighty pectorals. What an amazing explanation. <laughs> I have oh, no other questions. 4d6. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't tell you guys this. Um, uh, so the, um, the spectral entity reaches out to you with its hands and grabs onto your arms and you get this searing pain in the spots where it touched you uh, for 15 points of necrotic damage. Which uh, will be whoa, eight for uh, eight. No, we ran down seven. It'd be seven for you. Because what it's a, it's just yeah. psychic damage that uh, isn't affected by that. Correct. Right. Wait, so if, if Gur is raging, he gets less the second the psychic damage done? No, uh, no, psychic damage does full power. Everything else is I'm resistant to. Mm -hmm. So oh, he takes half damage. Okay. It's the benefit of raging. That makes sense. Aww. Uh, this is going to be Quentin's turn. All right. The, um... The browsers in the uh, in the room uh, are they presently lit? They are indeed lit. Okay. Lit AF. Hmm. All right. Uh, I will keep it simple and uh, give the shadow fiend in front of me a quick little hi yeah. Okay. We'll do that in roll twenty. It's easy. Somebody just flush the toilet. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, I don't know. Uh, I, your your inspiration would um would give you that twenty six. Nah. You hold on. Inspired. On a, inspired. On okay. a little little shadow dude. So you you go with your haya and you watch in amazement as this shadow beast creates a hole in the middle of itself to allow the Eldritch Blast to pass through completely unharmed uh, and it hits the wall uh, behind that brazer. Uh, you still have move and bonus action if you so desire. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six is where I'm going to move to. All right. Spectral entity, not spectral, the, the shadow beast is going to reach out and he is going to uh, catch your arm for seven points of necrotic damage as you um, uh, run away in fear. Um, I'm just putting um, feelings on you that you probably don't have, but hey, that's my job. Uh, Sister Nova, <coughs> you see as uh, this uh, shadow beast opens up and, and allows this blast to pass right through him and Quentin scampers away, uh, taking some damage. What would you like to do? Right, I'm currently hidden. Correct. So if I attack, I get a sneak attack bonus. Yes. Okay, um... I would like to lunge at this shadowy, shadowy creature and do sneak attack and smite. Okay. With my sword. You go right on ahead and do that. I shall. Pretty please be something Ooh. good. Can I use my inspiration? You absolutely can because critical fail is not what you want there. Um, oh. 21, 21 does hit. Blackjack. <laughs> Closest but not going over. Perfect. Um, okay, so I'm also going to roll a D8 to add my smite then. Mm-hmm. Because the broken thumb <laughs> <laughs> not doing well. Uh, okay, so, so you... that's twenty six plus six plus one. Mm-hmm. So you run out of the uh, this blinding light and charge at the shadow beast who is too preoccupied with what was going on uh, with Quentin to even see you coming anywhere near him and turns up and looks at you as you are smiting him with your long sword and the sword cuts right through him. And as it cuts through him, you watch as this smoke just dissipates into the air, into nothingness. Say bye-bye shadow beast. Woo! Oh. Adios. Smite me, almighty smiter. <laughs> yes. I love that movie. Uh, all right. Um, we're Holly Hera, it's tough for you to see what's going on behind that wall, but you've you're you're hearing a lot of commotion. Um, you you, you saw as uh, Quentin ran close to to where you're standing, and you uh you heard. Sister Nova's uh, uh, battle cry as she uh, sn swung her long sword through the shadow beast. Do you you want to give us a, a, a an example of your battle cry as you were swinging your long sword? Ah! That's a, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you got a goofy laugh. Um, that, man. that was good shit. <laughs> well, Holly. Um. Oh my gosh, there's truly nothing I can do. It's so far away. Is there? And each of the little blocks are five feet, right? No, the um. Uh, so. Or the colored this, different blocks. They so, wish. Sorry. so this tower is strange. So on the last floor, it felt like it was so much bigger and those little tiny squares were five feet. But up here, it's like each of those squares is not five feet. If you go to move, if you go to move your, your, your token over one, you'll see exactly how far five is there. That's five. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm moving Shia. And then I'm going to witch bolt the bitch lady. Okay. 
who's the wait? Who's the bitch? Guys, I can't see the screen, so like, I thought the baddie left. No, there's, there's, there's a, okay. So let me, we've done this before. Let me do it again. Hold on. Oh, so I'm going to yeah, paint you, I'm going to paint you a picture. Uh -huh. so, so we've got the tower here. Here's the, this I'm just like going to call for, for simplicity's sake. We're just going to call it a ghost. It's not a ghost. Uh, we have a ghost. That's, uh, the big G is Gur. That's a brazer. That's a brazer. That's a brazer. Hey That's guys, a brazer. What's a, big what's a ghost's favorite lunch mate? Um, uh, Bouloni. Bouloni. I did not ask. Okay, listen. Your parents, that's... I didn't ask you. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> Sister Nova. Here's Holly Hera and Tavy's like, I have no idea. And Gray, you are up here. So, it's probably a cocktail we need. Oh, sorry, please show me. So, so <laughs> that G, that G is where you are. The, cir okay. the, the small circles are brazers that are lit with a flame. The big circle okay. in the center is a big ball of blazing light. And then uh, you have uh, uh, Quentin, Holly Hera, yeah. uh -huh. Sister Nova, the ghost, for lack of a better word, so I don't have to keep saying spectral entity. Is that the, is that the lady? Just call it a bitch. The hot lady? And then, no. Yeah, the, hot the, hot, the hot lady The hot lady. The hot lady was your mom. Your mom, dude. So who just, I thought, you, I thought you just cashed Witch Bowl at a hot lady. No, the bad bitch. Oh, bad bitch and hot lady are synonymous, like terms. Jesus. <laughs> That's a bad bitch. <laughs> a hot lady. Come on. Well, anyway, I crit. Let's celebrate that. You did crit. That's amazing. So I'm going to need you to roll Thank your you. damage. I'm going to need you to roll your damage. I'm just... It's a 1d20. Wait, what, what did I roll then? Wait, I'm sorry, dude. Do you want to bang your mum? <laughs> is that what the campaign's going? Okay. I think so. Listen, this is not... This is not... Yeah, that's right. Point the camera at the wall. I don't yeah. <laughs> um, Holly Hara, did you want to roll your um your crit damage? What do I roll for crit? I've never uh, crit it's before. one. <laughs> it's it's basically your damage again. So your damage die oh, okay. for the witch bolt is one d twelve. So roll one d twelve. I've never crit before. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did you crit? Eighteen. Did you say crit? Hey. So you cast the witch bolt. The energy shoots out from your hands and envelops the the spectral entity, uh, and uh, you see it kind of circle around it, and then you notice as the orb in the center of the room starts to pulsate again. Is it like the same level of pulsating or is it like yep. more intense? Exact same level of pulsating and plop another shadow a shadow beast pops out of the, the ball and it's going to come straight for you. Okay. So this is a gimmick fight. What do we have to do? Every time we hit her, one of them things come out. Um, Can we well, target the middle what? thing or the brazers? You know what? You, you you can have this conversation um, later because right now you're being attacked. Uh, does a 15 hit? Your mom. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> eight, eight points of necrotic damage. So the the this smoky spectral not spectral the the shadow beast kind of floats through the air towards you and puts its hands on you and you feel a sharp pain as it uh, deals the necrotic damage. Don't touch me, bitch. Now we're going to be to we're going to be we're going to be at gray. Now gray, Wait. I know oh what? Sorry? Sorry, I just kind of zoned out. Is Holly Hara within like a like how how far away is Holly Hara from me? Um, five, ten, ten to fifteen feet. Um, is the creature within five feet of me? It is. I get an opportunity attack with Sentinel. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, make your make your opportunity attack. Uh, yeah. Sister Nova hits beast mode, everybody. 
Boom. If you want to use your inspiration, you can crit. I already used my inspiration. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I can. Why but 19 you, why still hits. Ni- 19, 19 still hits. Um, so that's not. Uh, so uh, you swing at this shadow beast and much like the first one, it uh, it starts to uh, to smoke up and leave the room. No, he didn't even share. <laughs> literally every time, every I was gonna say literally every time I smoke up, I leave the room. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I read what you want to do here, um, uh, uh, Gray. Uh, you're you're f- yeah. fully well able to do any of that. So I want to do that to the the, the bad the bad bitch. Okay. The not you... my mom hottie. Is it bad if I have sex with your mom? That's cool. That's okay. Right. Yeah. You guys okay. both having a great time. That's cool. As long as it's consensual. What's yeah. up? Like, can I can I do one of those things to her? Um, I mean, you could cast you could cast Thunder Wave if you if th- uh, Thunder Wave if you want. Um, but I will. Okay, here's away. here's what I'm gonna I'm let you do. To I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a free insight check. Sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a free insight check. Sweet. Roll it, Look at that, 18, 18. Um, you you run up a good like 15, 20 Ouch. feet to kind of get, you know, into range and get with the yeah, rest of your party. Possible. I did. Yeah. Um, Taco. And you. I've been watching this and you see a bunch of people have hit this spectral entity pretty good, pretty hard. And it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's affected the the entity at all. We got did I waste my crit and that bitch did not even take no damage. Is that what you're saying? To I didn't, right I didn't say it didn't take any damage. Also, this is like a gray gray's learning this right now. Uh, Miss Halihara. So I don't think any of you. Excuse me, sorry. That's what I meant. So I'll give you this little little diagram one more time, good sir. So you've got the small circles in the corners there. Those are (laughs) brazers that are lit. You've got the big ball of light in the very center, and you've got the 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 ghost down there, kind of smacking um, Gur around a little bit. All of the brazers are lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make, uh, mm, mm, okay, so uh, all the bracers are lit. There's a ball of energy in the center. I can either try to do something with the ball of energy or try to do something with the brazers. Guys, I have to think out loud. Don't judge me. Um, I feel like if I, tur- if I blow the brazers out, the light in the center could relight them. But also the same thing could happen if I blow the middle thing out like that. The brazers can relight it. Like, what's the source of magic? Is the question. So, I'm gonna use before I take my turn and do anything. Now that I had had this new information, I'm gonna call out to everyone and ask that they target one of the brazers. Now, there's five of us, right? And there's technically five targets. So I'm asking them to target a brazier to turn out the light, and I'm going to target the thing in the center. Okay. So right now I'm going to do something towards the thing in the center, the light in the center, to try to stop it. And my hope is that as their turns go, they can do something to affect the brazers so we can kind of just like group attack this. So I'm going to call out, hey guys, I think uh, I don't think this, this uh, sexy not my mom homie is not, not my mom homie is the problem. I think it's all these lights. It could be the, the brazers that are on fire or it could be the center light. I don't know. I'm going to attack the center light. Can you guys just like focus on the brazers? Okay. We can do that. Cool. Glad to. Gonna... How does this work in turn-based combat? It would well, just be based off of the turn. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, good night. So you, you guys are just good take night. your turns. Everyone else says good night, by the way. Nat says good night. Jesse says good night. Amar says good night. <laughs> I did not say good night, but good night. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I said, um, but good night. Shut 
Yeah. I'm gonna. Um... <laughs> yeah. So you guys will just take your turns and do whatever you need to do, unless you're being attacked or whatever. So I'm gonna take my turn now. I've at least said that to you guys. I've done my best to use the information that my perception or insight check got me. What the fuck can I do to this light? Uh, do I? All right. So I've already cast. I already like did the insight check. I can't learn any more about this light as it is right now. As right? it is right now, correct. Um, so you can want to Sniffler, attack the light? Can, is that what can, you're? Hold on. Can I? Okay. Can I call on? Can I call on Sniffler? To Absolutely. Do, like, hey, thing? hey. This is a funny thing about Dungeons and Dragons. You can use your familiars in combat. They can do stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, Sniffler. Right. <laughs> For a second, what's happening? There's a lot of giggling. I feel like, or were you just like wrestling with Tucker? No, mm-hmm. he jumped on the laptop, and knocked it over. I love him. Um, <laughs> so back in the game, let's talk back in the metaverse. Uh, I'm gonna call on Sniffler, and you said, Fine, I'm like, Hey, wait, 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 wait. can we use true sight? Can you inspect the top and the bottom of that light in the middle of the room? <laughs> um, Sniffler wait, does exist. Can you, can you pour me a shot? <laughs> um sniffler does not have enough time in the time it takes one round of combat or for for you um he can either do one or the other he can either go and do what you asked him to do or he can pour you a shot i, I love my God. mom i love my mom more than <laughs> listen you shush i love my mom more than i love my drink please go and please go inspect i'll pour my own shot while you're doing that sniffler um uh you know he he can only do what he's told so he jumps towards the the blazing light uh and looks all around it and doesn't really see a whole lot going on um he looks back at you and reaches out to kind of touch it and then he got wah no 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 wah, wah. no 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 so, okay so he he's looking all around and he's just like wah. Well, is it coming from the top or the bottom oh is the light it's the it's 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 yeah, all around it's, what's its origin but like it's gotta be it's light right so like it's coming it's gotta have a direction it's coming from the point in the center of it the fucking what imagine like a, a tiny hole. imagine a imagine a tiny sun in the middle of the room Hovering. Okay. This is good. This is good information. All yeah. right. Uh, <laughs> if you could. Say- right, so, thanks, Alvin. You, you can come back to Papa. Uh, this black hole, sir. Uh, can- uh, come on back. We don't. We don't need you. It's making a black hole. So he starts to waddle back. All right. Um. So you still have your <clears throat> actual action. action. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to like uh, picture <laughs> my like abilities and spells right now. Um, I'm going to uh, just like as is a, is a prelim because I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. How close am I? You are <laughs> um, diagonal right next to the ball of light. You are about Within ten feet, feet away from the closest brazier. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take something off my belt. I know in from my memory, I have something on my belt that's completely useless. At least right now, something I can buy. I have thieves' tools on my cool. belt. I'm gonna grab okay. that. I'm gonna grab that satchel off my belt and just toss it into the light and see what happens. Uh, I'm actually you, gonna take a turn. You toss it into the light. As it hits the light, the three of you that have the the high passive perceptions, that would be um, Sister Nova, uh, Quentin, and um, Holly Hera, uh, you notice as the Thieves' Tools hit the ball of light, the ball of light um, kind of swallows it up, and you notice the lights on all four of the brazers kind of go... And then calm back down to normal. 
Do I also notice this since I'm inspecting this? And you, um, you are so focused on the light that uh, it kind you kind of missed it. You don't see the brazers. Okay, yeah, makes sense. If you're staying in the sun, like you don't see anything else, that, mm-hmm. that makes perfect sense. Um, I'm sun gazing. That is going to be. The orb, the orb sits there and you can see it still kind of like pulsating and, and, and moving around. Um, we're going to go back up to the top of the order and it is Gurr's turn. Do I have a movement turn? I was just, uh, you, well, uh, if you, if you would like to move, um, you just can straight move. back 15, 15, 15 feet. Just my own movement. Yeah. Got Sorry, Gurr. You good. You good. All right. Now, Gurr. Uh, I was instructed to focus on the brazier, so I'm just going to turn around and smash the brazier with my maul. Uh, go ahead and make your uh, your attack. Basically, just don't get a one. Perfect. Um, you um, you smash the brazier a couple of times until like all of the coals kind of like shot out from it, and um, the fire starts to die until it's nothing but this smoldering pile of. Uh, of ash, you still get another attack. Can I still move? Mm-hmm. Well, then I'll move over to this one and smash that one too. The spectral entity reaches out with its icy cold fingers and deals uh, eight points of necrotic damage to you as you uh, maneuver over. Yeah. Ain't worried about her. How much was it? <laughs> uh, what did I say? Eight. That's so four. Four right for you. Um. Go ahead and roll for uh, the brazier. Boom. Same thing. Pretty identical on the rolls there. Uh, same. Yep. Same. Same thing happens. The uh, you you pretty much beat it until the fire goes out. Uh, you're covered I in. Got these two. Yep, you're, you're covered in soot and ash now. Uh, finger marks on your arm from where the the spectral lady has touched you. It sounds like an emo song, like lyrics to an emo song. Layers to an emo song. That sounds like an emo song. Layers of an emo song. Um, <laughs> I meant to say lyrics, but I'm drunk, so it's fine. Thank you. I'm not drunk. Shut up! I said lyrics. It was the, the ghost is gonna the, is gonna the, sail over the, here and sit right here and turn to Holly Hera. Leave me alone. Twenty. I'm sorry. Wait, wait! Did it go past me? Um, it went past you within ten feet. Um. Yeah, I think I get an opportunity attack. That's fine. Go right ahead. Uh, hey, King of Thieves, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Everybody spam hearts in the chat for our newest member of the Lords and Ladies of Fate. Woo! Hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat. This is my version of spamming right now. Hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat, hearts in the chat. Welcome to the Lords and Ladies of Fate, where you, the viewer, control the fates of our players. Um, Did you make your attack? Oh, yeah, dirty 20. Um, yeah. So as it goes by, you swing at it with your short sword. Your long sword, I'm sorry. And it um, no, makes... Con- short sword. Short sword. It makes contact. Did it do any damage or? King of Thieves, would you care to indulge in my insanity? Um, I'm. My interest has been piqued, King of Thieves. Please. Uh, while you type out whatever your insanity happens to be here, I'm just going to go on and keep on rolling this crit damage on Holly Hera here. Oh, I'm gonna die, that's aren't I? That's a lot I? of sixes. That's a lot of sixes. That's a lot I'm of sixes. God, I'm gonna die, aren't that's I? That's a lot of sixes. <laughs> and I still haven't rolled the crit yet. Um, 12. Ow, Tucker. You're irritating the shit out of me right now. That is for real. Stop it. It'll be 31 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> what 
Which is Damn. What happens when two different types of metallic dragons breed, like a copper and a gold? Is this a joke? Is this is this is this the setup for a joke? Because if so, I am for this. If you're asking me what happens, I would probably just say you end up with some sort of alloy. That's not fun, is it? Um, Excuse me, Dan. Did you say twenty-one or thirty-one points of damage? Thirty-one. That's like most of your hit points, isn't it? I say you he dead? No, nah, she's not, not dead. dead. Wait, is Holly Hara dead? No. Mm-mm. She's still got some health. Um That's the ghost's <clears throat> turn, Quentin. <clears throat> so up to you, uh, if you let this work. Um, I would like to start by, uh, you know, using just uh, one of my moves to get next to this browser right here. Uh, hold the, the decanter of endless water above my head and, and scream, Geyser! Uh, and trying to keep my thumb over the top of the decanter as best I can uh, to direct it at uh, the, uh, uh, the browser on my left. However, with my bonus action, and as the decanter is still flowing with water, make my way to the o- uh, other one and hit that, too. And I would like to cite Rule of Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, how dare you use my own rules against me? No. Shame on you. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that. It is a lot to be doing in one turn. Uh, make an athletics check for me. Let's see if you can, if you can make it over there before the geyser's done. It's the rule of cool with qualifications. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait, can I give guidance? Yeah. Trip. Yeah, you can give guidance. Yeah. My favorite part of Armand DMing is the fact that he DMs like he's a player, which means he's excited <laughs> for wins. Mm-hmm. Which yes. is amazing. Mm-hmm. Lots of DMs are excited for loss. So, well, I like I like a, I like a healthy mix. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like a, so Quinton can roll an additional D4 on top of um, oh, his wait, athletics. That's a D6. So I need a D4. Do I have a D4? It's the triangle. And I'm going to be yep. flat out, but don't don't roll it just yet. I'm going to be flat out honest with you. Because you rolled two natural ones, you need to roll a four on this guidance for this to work. Ah, okay. Uh, well, in case uh, if that's the case, let me use this triangle instead of that triangle. What the fuck? Uh, that is a four! I <gasps> Perfect. Well, can, can, I, can I hold the box up and have it not disappear? No, it's going to dis- box. Up. I believe I you. Tried. Don't you worry. We're all friends I heard it here. Um, so, yeah, that's the way to do that. Um, and if so it you- was a lie, the theatrics behind it convincing yeah, right exactly <laughs> exactly and that enough for me to reward you with <laughs> what you wanted to do there. <laughs> Excellent role playing, sir. Uh, so you run over to the first, uh, the, 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 the close brazier and you, you hold out the decanter of endless water and you scream out geyser as this huge geyser of water just pours out all over the brazier. And then you have the thought, Hey, if I run as fast as I can, I might be able to make it over to the other one before the water's over. You're stumbling, you're tripping, you, everything's working against you, but somehow you make it over there with the help of. You feel the hand of Sister Nova on your shoulder guiding you as you are trying to make this run. And uh, you miraculously make it there with just enough water in there to douse the flames. Hold on, I felt Sister's hand on me somewhere. Should I check my pocket? She likes to steal things. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. I was going to suggest that we insert some sort of like 80s like uh, montage music for the scene if anyone ever makes an animated version of this and or a podcast. But then the devil destroyed it by saying that. <laughs> Tammy would be. Sister, Sister Nova, Nova, it is now your full turn. 
Right, okay, cool. So Sister Nova sees that Holly Hara is, like, very injured. So she's going to go over to Holly Hara and, like, just kind of just pick up Holly Hara and run. And win. Uh, and, like, run away from the ghost. Like, as far as way, as far as ways, like, Sister Nova can go. Okay. So, like, I imagine, like, way over here with Holly Harrow, if someone can drag Holly Harrow over here. Perfect, And yeah. while I'm, like, touching Holly Harrow, I'm using all of my, um... Lay on hands? Yeah. All how, of my how, many, hands. how many points of lay on hands do you have at level... I have, I have 20. 20? So, this is incredible. Uh, Holly Hara gains 20 health. Woohoo, thank you. You know, as a meta as a meta mentioned, like we as a group desperately needed Sister Nova like in the game. And then we we as a group of people, I think desperately needed game. Do you remember like, do you remember Nargrax? You know I mean? Do you guys do you guys remember do you, do you guys remember Nargrax? No one remembers no. Nargrax. There was a reason why there was there was a reason why I gave you all a paladin as your like NPC party member to follow you around because I was like you all need somebody to take care of you. <laughs> we, all, we all rolled a bunch of like wimpy 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 little characters that you watch out don't no say that in front of Gur. Gur does not like to be called a wimp. Well, Gur has an armor class mm. like what is this Smashems McMashems hockey boy who's got no armor. <laughs> There's okay. some big words so, for characters I can that take can't it. read. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I can take five times more damage than you, buddy. That's true. And listen, this wasn't this is all very meta, so I don't know how any of these characters heard this. I'm just I'm just happy, you know, I'm happy with uh, our group is what I'm saying. I'm happy with the group too. I'm really glad you guys is it Rion. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Holly, now that you've got 20 more points of, he of, of healing done to you, you are, um, you're feeling a lot more spry. It's your turn. I sure am. Oh man. Do, and I mean, I got roughed up there a little bit. Did I kind of recognize what was going on with the, with the brazers? Yeah. I mean, you heard, you heard before, uh, that, uh, Gray wanted everyone to focus on the, the brazers. You saw as Gurr walked over and smashed out two of them, and then you um, you were hurt, but I mean, it was right next to you that uh, that Quentin ran by you in a fevered sprint uh, with water I, pouring if, all over the place. Am I able to tell <laughs> if, if I am I, able to target that center light thing? Um, one second. Oh, I've got a meta question from yeah, uh, from and, and I just want to make sure this gets pointed out uh, to to you, Holly. You do st still currently have uh, your concentration of witch bolt around the specter. Yeah. So. Yeah. But if if I hit her and it just makes another dewy hickey come out of the dew hickey, then maybe we gotta hit the dew hickey I instead. Just, uh, I was just making sure that was coming into the decision making. Yes, one. it is. It is. Okay. I'm sorry, I got lost uh, on the word doohickey. <laughs> oh, it's a doohickey. <laughs> don't hickey. Yeah, don't hickey. It's tacky. Don't. Don't hickey. You don't know the love. Don't. Um, yeah, who would who would do a hickey? <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do, do a test. Here, and I'll just do one of these 12 towards the lady. Uh, hickeys, that's a young that's a young person's game. I'm Yeah. <laughs> hickeys not me. <laughs> oh, a whole four. Well, I guess this will at least tell Take us if we hickey. have to do something with that middle light. Um so yeah, you um you you cat you, you recast the witch bolt. Um you see it envelop the, the, the ghost there, but this puny uh like almost neutered version of your, your witch bolt doesn't really seem to affect it at all. Mm-hmm. But more importantly, does anything um, come out of that middle circle? So as you do that, you see the uh, orb start to pulsate. You son of a bitch. And it's going to come flying over here to uh, go after Quentin. 
stupid shadow people. There are five other people, uh, four other people you can bite. Wait, the center orb. Target the light. Huh? Neither can live while the, the other survives. No, the center orb pooped out another shadow beast. Oh, fucking fucking uh, fuck. And it's going to swing Listen. at you for some necrotic damage here. Well, I have instructions. Okay. All right. 20, 21 points of necrotic damage. Fucking cat. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a big, it was a big roll. Um... What was that you said about me being excited for 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 the wins for you, not the losses? <laughs> you, you listen. You get like, excited for both. What I'm I get, like I said, I like a, like a balance. balance. The game, like you're really into the game, so you play it like a player. Like you DM like a player. It's great. <clears throat> um, that's gonna be Gray's turn. Oh hey. Cool. So like, <clears throat> everyone, how many bracers are out? All of them. They're all out. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the center thing is still being a bitch ass. Okay, cool. So shoot it. Well, we've all tried shooting it. No, no, no one has tried attacking the uh, the ball of light directly. Yet. Did, did you th Hallier you threw a bag that? of something at oh. it? I have I a question. Is it a ball of light or is it a ball of fire? It it's looks energy. it looks like a ball of light, but it's like an orb of like energy. Yeah. So like, it doesn't uh, look like fire. And energy can be displaced. So let's displace some energy, fellas. Okay. Uh, um. So what what did Halahara attack to make? The, the specter. Oh, okay. So just a little meta. So it seems it seems like every single time the ghost gets attacked and it hits, it causes the orb of light to poop out another shadow beast. Right. It also it does not appear that your attacks are affecting the spectral entity very well. Kill the ads, Paul. Right. And when I, when I, yeah. and when I threw that bag of thieves tools into that orb what happened again the 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 uh fire from the brazers kind of shot up a little bit and then went back down to normal so it, it said num, 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 num. so that makes me think that it gains power from like earthly things uh <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Um, <laughs> while, while you're thinking, hold on one second. Um, uh, uh, King of Thieves, um, Pwn Donkeys. That's me in the chat. I'm the I'm the hi. I'm the, the the dungeon master. Um, if you want if you want a secret object, you can DM me. You can DM me in um in the 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 Twitch chat, and um I will I'll drop your your item someplace uh uh, uh secret. I'll keep it secret. I'll keep it safe. Um, but uh, back to back to Gray's turn. Little lords, of, lords of the lady, little lords of the rings over here for the lords and the ladies. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, uh, that that the the suggestion we got in like our chat here in Skype was pretty dope. Um, so what's anti light? Darkness, obviously, but I can't cast the darkness. I don't do anything against the dark. Ooh, I have an idea. I'm gonna cast a cantrip. Okay. It's gonna be uh, a minor illusion, and the illusion is gonna be a mirror image of the orb um, that just goes in a circle around the orb. Okay. It just it just circles the orb. It, it doesn't it doesn't interact with the orb. It doesn't touch anything. It just is exactly the same image of the orb going around the orb itself. That's it. That's all I'm going to do for my turn. Then I'm going to move another 15 feet away. That's about as far as you can move away. All right. Well, now there's two orbs, uh, but you all obviously know that the one circling the other one is a, a fake. So now it's pretty. 
And now it's the orb's turn. Oh, did I say it's the orb's turn? Whoops. Hey. Oh. I guess clues were failing, guys. <laughs> He's helping us. Other 20 sided die. Here it is. Okay. As um, the orb is, uh, this one orb is circling around in some weird way. Um, you then, um, you notice as the orb starts to pulsate a little bit and it shoots four flames psh, 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 into the brazers. And... Two of them light back up. Two out of the four? Two out of the four, yep. You got lucky. No, they didn't. Oh, yes, they did. This is some bullshit. Roll I just have like a meta question. How'd you roll that? Did you roll like four individual dice? Shoot the spawner. Shoot the spawner. Shoot the spawner. Well, I've been playing it safe. So Gray's been playing it safe. Meta, 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 meta. Plays me Gray's playing it safe to like try to like figure out what the fuck's going on with the orb so that he didn't create more havoc because in the very beginning of this fucking fight scene, I went to run in to grab my mama and Tavy said, no, oh, chill, be careful. That could make this worse. So I took those words to heart because that was before I had a shot. And I, uh, you know, I've been being very careful. I'm also getting drunker, so like, let's see what happens with my next turn. By me, I mean Gray, not me in real life. So don't worry. Well, it is Gur's turn, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm gonna run back over and smash the other brazier. Because <laughs> I follow instructions. Smash! No, Sorry, I'm 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 private messaging with somebody. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love? No, it's neglect because he's not. Um. Me. Yeah. So, Gur, you love you you, 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 you do <laughs> what Gur does. You run over to the brazier and you're just like, no fire, and smash it until it's gone again. <laughs> Um, oh, and by the way, just because it hasn't been moving for a while, it's still it's still circling around. Yeah. Gray, I want you to know that I am I am deliberately moving an additional orb around the original orb, one square at a time for you. I just want to let well, you since, know. Since says you referred to me as Gray, I'm going to answer you as Gray. God, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you. I've got the wrong player. Wrong number. No. <laughs> New phone. Who this? You you want to come? You want to come down and see no. me again? Is, kid. Is, you want to come down God here and see me again? Is God? As if I, as if I didn't have enough religious. I was wait. I was. I was waiting for Tavy to go. Time. Is God hot? <laughs> no, I was waiting for <laughs> it. No, but like, is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me roll. He's an uggo. Uh, um, it is now the ghost's turn. Who's who's shaking that? That is not going to make me uh, uh, go any faster. Uh, it's just going to annoy the players at home. Uh, hey, actually, I have two attacks still. Or another attack. Oh, you still, you still, you still have another attack. Yep, and some moves. So ten, that's sorry. Right, fifteen. 10, You've got like more than half your move. Uh, so that'll be five, and it's ten, so fifteen there. Um, and with my long limbs, do I still have enough range to hit that? Wait, is that right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty. Oh wait, no, I got forty moves, so I can go there. And can I attack this uh, shadow thingy here? Uh, if you no, would like to, no, yeah. Dude. I would. Nope, nope, shut up. Do what you're gonna do. Do what you're gonna do. I can't. I'm I doing it. No 
Yes. I don't think I don't have enough moves to get to the other brazier, so. Where's my character sheet? Why is it not coming up? What's going on here? Do What's going on here? This is very unattractive. Don't don't do this. Why does my face look like that? Okay. It's gonna not cooperate. Let me back out and come back in. Gross. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, King of Thieves. I think I've got. Um, I think I. I think I've. I've got what you. Um, I'm picking up what you're putting down, so to speak. Um, if someone, when they get a chance that has mod status in the chat, could go ahead and take object redemptions worth of points away from um, uh, King of Thieves, uh, he has just redeemed a secret object for her, you all. Wow! <laughs> I've never thought about that. All right. I hope it's not cursed. <laughs> this whole fucking stream is cursed, so like, I don't really have a choice. That. <laughs> Cocktail. Oh, and he only has sixty fate chips. Someone, 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 hook, hook this, hook, hook this person up with some extra Aww. fate chips. Boo boo. Can I gift? Can I give a mine? Oh, he already spent it. He already spent the thing. He already he said he said he already spent the thing. Do the do yeah, the they, to give it back. Following, he'd get the. Uh, uh, like two hundred and some anyway, so he should be up plenty. Mm-hmm. So, give it, give it back to him, and give him a little extra too. I'm feeling generous yeah. Wait, can, for can, for the viewers, not for you guys. Can, uh, this this the homie in chat whose name King of Thieves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. King of Thieves. Hot. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no. I fucking lo- I love Tavy, dude. Tavy's the best. Did you have um oh. uh Gur? Did you have uh uh inspiration yeah, i don't want to use it though okay uh so you swing and it just kind of like whoosh is out of the way it wishes um ooh, ooh, who's a slippery sneak <laughs> atlas no <laughs> never i cannot be tamed <laughs> <laughs> what did that say? <laughs> she said someone spritz Tavy with the water bottle. <laughs> I'm dying. That that this one wasn't as bad as the last one, uh uh Quentin. So the ghost reaches out with its uh icy cold fingers. Uh, it reaches around and grabs you by the arm and you can feel the skin start to burn away where it's grabbing for uh, 10 points of damage. There were only 10. Um, and that's going to be... Uh, well, it's it's Quentin's turn. Quentin. Who's Quentin? Quint- Quentin. Oh, okay, Quentin. Not Quack. You have you have <laughs> some decisions. You know Quentin's gonna make the worst possible decision just because not, it's not Quentin. Not really, because I I, I want to shoot the spawner, but there's no point in shooting the spawner unless all the the lights are out. And one of these two things is bound to hit me and take me down to my death rows. So I will tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing, Quentin. Um, the. Decanter of Endless Water could be a bonus action. I'm feeling generous. All right, fine. So, uh, uh, Can we uh, pause uh, for one sec? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? I just wanted to, like, a uh, round of applause for uh, Good Devil for catching on to, like, this puzzle's, like, order. The gamer in Good Devil was, like, just now, very loud, prolific, and very accurate, I believe, and what it will take to end this, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I was, I thought that was great. Um, King of Thieves, we're actually a few minutes, we're a few minutes out from the close of the stream, so, so hang tight, and uh, uh, we'll do a little like uh, intro at the end, the and kind of like introduce everybody, and the end, <laughs> tra- exactly. Uh, 
Uh, we'll I'll, I'll introduce all the characters. We'll go get through all that. But we're so we're we're so so like in the middle um, of this. I don't want to stop right, us anymore. So Quentin, we're gonna. Uh, so you, I'm gonna uh, uh, now turn my attention to the. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna give that thing a, a attack of opportunity if I do. Never mind. Um, you know, you could move diagonally. Um, to the other piece and sure, not could, move out I, of the I'm sphere sure of influence I still have line of sight on it one way or the other well whatever so we're gonna hi yeah and so that's gonna be a 15 at the and that's all put together a 15 at the the orb of light in the center of the room got it okay uh 15 hits and let's see i am so sorry uh tell you what i'll to da, 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 crap. We'll just do that because I forget what my damage roll is for that. So that would be uh, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you um you cast your eldritch blast and it hits this ball of energy sh like right dead center, and uh it the energy from it just starts to like just start shaking and then it expands and it just well here let me just show you it expanding nope that's that's not expansion oh my god it gets bigger oh my god that's huge and bigger and then it just poofs all this Minor illusion still going around and round and round and round and round and round. Um, as that goes away, the, the, the shadow beast dissipates. The ghost starts to writhe in agony. And you see this like kind of outline around the ghost glow and then break almost like it was glass. And all of this spectral energy starts pouring out. Wait, so all this extra shit we did, all we had to do was like hit that thing one fucking time? Yep. And... You mean like I and, tried to get you to do the first in time? Standing in the spectral entity's place... Is it mommy? <gasps> is it mommy or he... Is an old person... And he, uh, he, he, he looks at you all and goes, oh, well, uh, I'm so glad that you all were able to finally break the curse that kept me horribly attached to this place. That goddamn huge <laughs> ass. I swear when I find him, I'm going to make him see what's coming to him. Oh, what's coming to the my game? name is... My name is Thaddeus Flibbits, and this is my humble tower. Thank you. Thank you, brave adventurers. Wait, is this your tower? Did you, are you the architect of the tower? Yes, I'm the, the, the magical, magical architect of this tower. I created this tower thousands of years ago. And then I left this plane to go explore all of the other planes of existences. I am older than many could ever hope to become. I know many of the secrets of the universe. Could you please tell me everything? In order to repay you for freeing me from the torment of that huge ass, I will grant each one of you one answer to whatever question you oh, so shit. desire. Think long and hard on this. This sounds like a really great place to leave off for a cliffhanger. Ooh, a cliffhanger. So. Thank you all for joining us. Um, so in order to, um, explain for our new viewer, King of Thieves, I just want to go down the, the line here. So we've got Good Devil playing Quentin. He is our half-elf warlock. Uh, Haya is his, uh, uh, passion. 
then we have Jesse, and she is playing uh, Holly Hera. Holly Hera is a half elf druid. Also, Preto Supreme in chat. Hey. Yep, Preto Supreme in chat. Yep. Uh, we have Nat. Uh, he is playing Gur. Gur is a bugbear barbarian. I think he's playing the part oh, perfectly. True, true, true. true. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, Tavy is playing uh, uh, Sister hey. Nova. Uh, and they're um, doing a fantastic job as well. Tavy as trash always. in chat? Because I'm mm-hmm. trash. Um, <laughs> and you're Tavy. And, um, and yeah. uh, who was the one who sounded far too excited at my name? Well, <laughs> we're just getting to that. That would be Jen Washitashi over here. And he is playing Gray, the half orc sorcerer. Hey, there's a lot, a lot of half breeds happening here in this. Uh... Yeah, it's all. It's almost like people are allowed to love who they want, except in your case, in which case it got you uh, locked up. That and, didn't uh, stop the love. No, for no, all of your... love is love. It's just that you know, Gray's parents don't love him, so you know, basement. Love is love unless it's your children. <laughs> Oh. Then neglect is neglect. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> my my poor baby. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go upstairs and look at my kids sleeping and contemplate whether I should punch <laughs> him in the face. Oh, he better be it's sleeping. Okay. I don't know if I saw him bring the um, Chromebook out <laughs> of his bedroom. He's almost an adult, so it's okay. If he's I shut your English, yeah, he's almost an adult, so I can almost kick his ass. Oh, you know. Anyway, so um, so King of Thieves, that is uh, our cast of characters. We do this campaign every single Wednesday night. Let's go ahead and get a raid together while I'm going through this spiel here. We do this campaign every Wednesday. It's the Adenia campaign. We do this campaign like um, we have seventy nine to eighty five percent of Wednesdays that exist. Mm-hmm. We um uh, we do post uh these um uh. VODs on YouTube. You can also go back and watch, I think, up to three months worth of our content on Twitch itself. Um, all that stuff is saved. So you can always go back. Um, we do a recap at the top of every stream. We also give out extra fate chips at the top of every stream, so make sure that you're here early. Hey, join our Discord as well, because I put out an update every single time before we go live. Not a bot. Um, absolutely not a bot. I do it personally myself because I like the little personal touch. Um, you just don't get that from a, a AI. Now, um, I, we also do other things. We don't just do um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So we also do um, Star Wars on Thursdays. Uh, we actually, Thursdays is an alternating stream. So one week we do Star Wars. Uh, starting soon, hopefully. The following week, we'll do Aliens. Um, and Did then... get word that the rest of the well, stuff that I need shipped. Perfect. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, um, eventually, once we get to the end of the Aliens campaign that we're doing on Thursdays, we will be going back to the bread and butter. What started this channel, our uh, Rifts Season 2 will be starting. Uh, which is... Uh, uh, DM'd by uh, Nat here in uh, uh, our uh, game here. So uh, definitely stick tuned to that. Um, you get all these updates in the Discord as uh, as well. And sometimes... And Mondays. Mo- I can't forget about Mondays. Mondays are so fun too. We do Star Star Trek. So if you're if you're a space nerd, we got you covered. If you're a fantasy nerd, we got you covered. We've got other things that we are currently working on that are, you know, I keep saying that, that are coming out the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're attempting to expand. We want to do stuff on every day of the week just to be there and have fun with you all. Um, and, and this gimmick of, of you purchasing things for, uh, the players in stream to affect them. That is across all of our streams. So if you come in here on, um, Monday, you can affect the star Trek game. If you come in on Thursdays, you can affect either the star wars or aliens tomorrow. We'll be doing, Star Wars, so come join myself, Doran Vorldit, the Jedi extraordinaire who definitely hates Roll20 because it does not want him to be a super cool Jedi. It wants him to roll ones. Um, and uh, Bruce Gaskin, uh, our uh, wonderful uh, GM who is taking us through a wonderful, uh, wonderful, fantastic FYI, the story. the not working, by the way. Um, 
oh, the raid's not working. I'm sitting here going, like, like a vamp, <laughs> vamp, vamp, vamp. Okay. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, we will not be doing our normal raid as we usually do. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Sometimes technology just doesn't fucking work. Oh, and we wait, deal we with work. it. Um, oh, wait. We got it. We're working. Got it. We're raiding. Okay. So, we're raiding Vorpal Tales. So, let me go ahead and do my spiel. Um Remember, when you raid, you are uh, not rep- just representing uh, yourself. You're representing us. We are all, you included, the lords and ladies of fate. Um, so please, don't be a dick. Uh, be fun. Be obnoxious fun. Not the bad kind of obnoxious. The fun noxious. Um, if you are a sub, spam those emotes. Show them what they're missing. Um and, and, and give them a follow, you know, let's help grow the yeah. tabletop community. You know, there are other people there. There are other people here besides critical role. I know it's hard to believe, but, um, the little guys like us, we're all over the place and we're all trying to grow. We all want to, we all, we all want to entertain. That's, that's what we're here for. Um, that being said, we're going to close this out the way we close out every single Wednesday stream the same way we're all going to say the patent pending uh, catchphrase for Adenia. It's definitely the same thing. It's definitely not five different things all said at different times. But uh, let's go ahead and hit him with that catchphrase to close us out. Let's start ready on the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. Hi, I'm Thaddeus Phillips.